Tex and Shadow Ace. The first race of the afternoon here at Mount Gambier. Good conditions as there's the green light. The lure's on its way. We're set to go for the Williams Crane Hire Maiden over to 305. Ready? And racing, starting nicely there was Goldie's Ridge and Electric Collette goes to the lead though. Third posse, Shadow Ace, fallen next by Bungalow Tex and St. Rose. Down to side, Electric Collette leads the way by about three lengths. On Goldie's Ridge, then came Shadow Ace as they swing the corner. It's still Electric Collette, the leader. Goldie's Ridge comes up on the inside. They hit the line, it'll be Electric Collette who wins just. Goldie's Ridge gets second spot from Shadow Ace. They'll fall next by. In the later stages, Bungalow Tex and St. Rose back in the tail of the field. Race time will come up shortly, but the winner is the one red, just Littricolet, has won that, I would say, by a nose, but we'll get the confirmation shortly. But it is definitely the one who gets up on the line. 18-14, the race time, the one, two good Littricolet. Second spot, the four in Goldie's Ridge, and Shadow Ace does finish third. So the numbers there of one, four, eight, and we'll get fourth in a second to come through. But the one red in Electric Collet, too good. Electric Collet trained by Philip Lennon, the owner trainer to Black Girl from Mpunga Blazer out of Electrifier. Second spot going to the four blue. And that is in Goldie's Ridge. Goldie's Ridge is trained by Robert Wormwell, the owner trainer. It's a fawn girl from Cape Hawk out of Crymelon Crean. And third spot going to the eight pink. And that is Shadow Ace. Shadow Ace trained by Peter Crawley, the trainer owned by Alan Lye. And there's a black dog from Dyna Double One out of Ritza Rita. So one, four, eight, and six. One, four, eight, and six. The numbers, the margin ahead by one and a half. Head by one and a half. At 591 is the section. 591 is the section there after the running of race number one. 1814, the race time.